I'm never gonna be Cartier. I'm always gonna be a cult. And there's a woman out there, when she puts that piece of jewelry on, she finds a thing that she's been looking for her whole life. My sister Courtney and I started the business in the late 90s, doing restoration and lighting, all kinds of stuff. And when I moved to New York, it was kind of a, it was a, uh, a low point in jewelry in the fashion world. You know, jewelry is something very personal to me, so I didn't really want to just, I didn't want to change what I was doing to sort of fit the fashion of the day. You know, I would show stuff to people all the time, and then all of a sudden I showed them the same thing I had shown them the year before, and they were like, how come you've never shown me this before? This is perfect. As an adult living in New York, I always had a studio. I was always working, making things. You know, I felt really uh, proud about that when I was that age, as one does when you're young. And now, of course, now that I'm running a company and have lots of employees, I wish like hell I had had some kind of job experience so I knew how to run a company. I think it used to be that people wore jewelry for one reason or another reason. Um, but now we live in a world where people, where all those lines have been blurred. So, I mean, for me, I always say like the, the woman that I find most chic is the one who's wearing, you know, like a rubber band with a Cartier love bracelet with her great grandmother's diamond watch. I think jewelry is really important because jewelry is the way we tell these stories, these subtle stories of ourselves. It, when someone's wearing fashion in general or wearing anything, they should feel more like themselves, an enhanced version of them. They should feel more beautiful, more personal, more intelligent, more engaging, whatever it is that they're looking for. I know some incredibly talented, inspirational people who are really methodical with the way they work. I unfortunately don't have that. I have another skill set, which is something where everything I do is born out of some kind of torture. But when I finish something, especially something that's been like very kind of difficult to realize, it's like a long process of like sort of discovering it, as it were, um, I get very depressed. I'll make this really beautiful thing and then I get really depressed. And my sister's, you know, having known me my whole life, knows that moment. She's like, oh, go, here it goes. You're gonna get really sad now. It's really gorgeous. And, uh, but in the long run, actually, every time I make a piece, I grow. I've made that thing. Now I get to move on to the next thing.